Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review here. Frost or freeze damage on fruit trees and other spring blooming shrubs and trees depends on the developmental stage of the buds, flowers, and fruit. During the winter, apple, cherry, pear, plum, and even peach trees can withstand very cold temperatures. As fruit trees develop in the spring and buds start to swell, they lose the ability to withstand cold temperatures. As the temperatures warm up in the spring, the young, actively growing tissues will be damaged or killed if the temperature drops too low. The longer the buds and flowers have been developing, the less they're able to withstand temperatures even slightly below freezing. As wonderful as it may seem to have a warm spell early in the spring, the warm temperatures allow the flowers to develop rapidly. Freezing temperatures are certainly going to follow any warm spell and that can be disastrous to the flower buds. Resistance to freeze injury varies between species and cultivars and even within the tree itself. Before buying a fruit tree, check to see if it can withstand the spring temperatures in your area, not just the lowest winter temperatures. Some fruit tree cultivars bloom later than the others, so the flower buds are not as exposed to cold temperatures. There are even different temperatures within the microclimates of an orchard. Trees may be protected from winter winds and low temperatures near buildings and fences in a backyard, but those same areas may also warm up too early in the spring. If not properly acclimated, trees may have frost damage in the fall if they're exposed to a rapid drop in temperature to below freezing. This frost damage will not show up until the spring when the buds do not develop. Orchard owners and university researchers have developed charts to match the growth stage of buds and flowers to the temperatures that have the most damage. They will often note the temperatures at a 10% or 90% death of the buds will occur. The names of st for stages of development change with the type of fruit because the buds look different. But in general terms, we're looking at a tight bud, a swelling bud, buds with some color, expansion of a flower cluster, the first flower, full bloom, and post bloom. Even though a closed bud may have survived temperatures below zero during the winter, 10% of swelling buds may die if the temperatures drop into the teens, and 90% will die if the temperature drops into the single digits. 10% of expanding buds may die if the temperature drops to the mid-20s, and 90% will die in the teens. Once in full bloom, 10% of buds will die if the temperature drops to the upper 20s, and 90% will die in the mid-20s. Thankfully, most leaf buds and small tender leaves can withstand cooler temperatures than the flower buds, so if a freeze kills the flowers, the tree may survive to try again the next year. Many people worry about the effects of snow on the flower buds. Snow actually insulates the buds and doesn't harm them. The temperatures cold enough to allow for snow are a bigger problem. So how do you protect fruit trees from freeze damage? First, get the right cultivar for your area that is hardy and blooms later. Plant it in a microclimate that protects it for instance, don't plant it in a valley where cold air accumulates or on a cold, exposed hilltop. If frost is about to occur, water the orchard since the water will release heat as it cools and freezes. Small trees can be covered with a frost blanket. If a freeze does kill a lot of flowers, don't be too sad. Many flowers are going to drop off anyway. It is estimated that as many as 90% of the flowers can drop off without much loss in fruit production. And this is Jeff with the Green Review. Thanks for watching.